Hi, I'm Maisie Chan, and I'm the author of Danny Chung Does Not Do Maths. I'm going to read an extract from the first chapter. Drawing makes me feel good. I draw literally everywhere, in bed with a torch and even on the toilet. Well, you can be sat for quite a while, and yes, I always wash my hands afterwards. Sometimes I sketch in the park at weekends with Ravi, my best mate. My favourite bit is coming up with new characters. One's a half one thing and half another. The best of both worlds. Like wholemeal bread and white bread put together. I was really pleased with my newest creation that I called a drucken. It was a mutant duck with a dragon's head. It's very Chinese, if you ask me. Dragons are the most beloved and lucky creatures in Chinese mythology. And ducks are yummy and succulent. The tricky part was the head. Chinese dragons don't look like other dragons and they have no wings. Ravi is basically an expert on all things medieval knights. He says that Chinese dragons are anomalies, which is a nice way of saying they're weird. And they don't go around trying to eat princesses or battle knights. I think that's nice. A dragon is a Chinese win-win. From under my duvet, I heard the door to my room squeak open. Danny, where are you? It was Ba. I could tell from the sesame oil smell from the kitchen. Not now, I prayed. I was still drawing. I nearly finished the camel-like head of the dragon. The duck's body would, of course, be in scale with the head. You wouldn't want a tiny duck's body and a massive dragon's head. That thing would lollop around and flop over. I slid my duvet up over my head some more, hoping that Ba wouldn't see me. Saturday was usually very busy, so my parents wanted me to help out by folding menus or piling pop cans on the shelf behind the counter. But I'd rather just draw in my pyjamas instead. We can see you, Danny Chung, Ma's voice said. Come on, you need to leave your bedroom now. Bar and I need to clean under your bed. It's like a rubbish tip under there. There has to be more space in here. What? I peeked out from under the duvet. Ma had on her red apron that she wore when she did the counter each evening and bright yellow rubber gloves. Under her armpit was a feather duster. She was scanning my bedroom like she was on a mission. Ma knelt down with a pearly green dustpan and brush. He threw some black bags onto the carpet. Something wasn't right. His head was sweaty and he was all huffy. They never came in here to clean my room. Yes, we don't have much time, Ma said. We've been so busy and now we only have a few hours left. He frantically started digging out random things that I'd shoved under my bed frame. What was going on? A few hours left until what? Ba flung an old teddy bear out from under my bed. It only had one eye. Next, he stretched and pulled out a stack of old sketchbooks that were filled to the brim with my creations. Clean, but it's Saturday. Can't I just relax like the kids at school? On weekends, they play computer games and go for ice cream. Saturdays are for doing, I don't know, uh, nothing? Uh-oh. I regretted it as soon as I'd, I'd utter the word nothing. I was going to get my dad's Chinese way lecture. Doing nothing? Nothing? Bar got up from his knees and wiped dust bunnies and straggled hair from his trouser leg. It's not the Chinese way to do nothing, Danny. Ma lifted her eyebrows at me. She knew what was coming. She started humming a little out of June ditty while her feather duster skimmed the top of the wardrobe. The Chinese way is hard work. It's about listening and respecting our elders. It's about family and helping each other gain success. We have to work doubly hard in this country, six days a week. No one gives us free things. We don't do nothing, Ma blustered. I didn't mean it that way, I meant. I meant, what did I mean? I just like drawing, that's all. It's not really doing nothing. Look, I'm making something. I turned my sketchbook around so he could see what I was working on. Ma peeked over Bar's shoulder to get a glimpse and squinted her eyes. Her head tilted. She was obviously confused. They swapped places. Bar tutted and then got back down on the floor and Ma moved in close to see my picture. It's a dragon and duck hybrid, I told her. I hoped she would see how great and Chinese it was. I turned the book back towards me. They just didn't get it. Thank you.